Kate Middleton and Prince William paid first visit to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's new home. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry recently hosted some special guests at their new Frogmore Cottage home, Kate Middleton and Prince William. With the arrival of baby Sussex imminent, Meghan was absent from Easter church services at St George's Chapel in Windsor Castle her wedding venue on Sunday. However, she still got to spend time with the family. The royal parents to be recently moved into Frogmore Cottage on the Windsor Castle grounds, so Kate and William joined Prince Harry at their nearby new home following the Easter service. This marks the first time Kate and William have seen the newly renovated cottage, which was transformed from a staff residence once set up as multiple apartments into a single family home of about five bedrooms. McGann's mother, Doria Ragland, had also arrived to Windsor from her home in Los Angeles before the Easter holiday, making sure she was nearby as the Duchess of Sussex's due date grows closer. On Thursday, Kate and Harry teamed up for the Anzac Day service at Westminster Abbey. The last time the royal brothers and their wives were seen all together was at the annual church service for Commonwealth Day. Kate and McGann, both 37, exchanged a friendly kiss on the cheek as they greeted each other inside Westminster Abbey, while the brothers shook hands. William also greeted McGann with a kiss on the cheek. They then chatted as Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, made their way inside. The two royal couples recently broke up their joint court at Kensington Palace by creating two separate offices. While some saw it as a sign of trouble, many believe it was just a natural progression. A family friend told People, they have always been different, they are very different characters. They drew great comfort from each other when their mother died, and as they've grown up together. But they need to be separate. Now Morgan has arrived it is the right time to make that break. The time has come, the friend adds. They are in their thirties and can't be treated as young unmarried men anymore. Now, they are spreading their wings. William more than Harry as he has his three children, but Harry is now starting his own and it is time to move on. It's now practical for both families to have their own staff. Royals author Robert Lacey says, in this generation there are only two of them, and it makes sense for them to go their separate ways and create separate identities. Looking to the future, their children will proliferate around those two centers. The current schism between the royal brothers is the result of them being at different points in their lives. William, 36, a father of three, is focusing on his role as the future king, while Harry, 34, is adjusting to married life as a soon-to-be father with causes close to his heart but they're still family. There is never any doubt that they will be there for each other 100% and support each other when it matters, an insider recently told People. Adds a source close to the royal household, maybe they'll come back together a little later. It's another stage in the growing up. Sometimes you have to break away in order to come back.